Good morning and welcome to West Coast Grandma. Elizabeth here and today we are going to head out on our boat. We're just at the marina right now. We're going to head out and we're going to go fishing. So there is our boat. We are going to head out there pretty quick and go for the day and have lunch. Whatever, whatever's entailed in fishing, which I don't like. I call it stressfully boring, but anyways, at least I get to sit out in the sun. So we will catch you on our way out. So here we are, we're gonna head out of our slip. It's so nice having it all set up here because we can just come down, hop on and away we go. There we go, out we are. Look at that water, it's about as calm as it's ever gonna be. Ah, the breeze, it's so nice. It's just a small marina, so we have like 110 boats. So it's not a large marina, which is good when you're working by yourself. You don't want it to be too big. It would take forever to get from one end to the other. There we are. little boat that's uh, moored here in the bay. I have no clue who it is. But that's one thing about uh, mooring your boat on an anchor. It's free territory. So if you want to put your anchor down wherever you want, you can and nobody can say you can't. A lot of the mooring cans out are all owned by people. That's those orange uh, the pots that are sitting there, most people own those, so a lot of them are private, and if they say on it private property, you can't use them, but lots of times you can use those too. If you go into different bays, there might be one or two, and you can just uh, anchor your boat to one of the cans, which is pretty darn nice. So anyway, we're gonna go around here and zip down to fill up. So here we are, stopping for fuel. Sean is going to help us out here and He's be handing the, the uh, I am he won't be not paying the gas bill. <laughs> no, we don't talk about gas bills. Most people don't even <laughs> want to keep their receipt. <laughs> Unspoken truth, boating and fuel. So where are you going today? We are heading up to Moresby. To Your fish. favorite spot for sun tanning. Yes, exactly. Until the shade comes out. Yes. I'm going to be laying out like what? <laughs> anyway, so. Sean is uh, the boss down here today, and he will be uh, directing all our other new summer staff as to what to do. It does take a lot to keep this marina shiny and beautiful for the whole summer. Right, Sean? Right, but Elizabeth keeps me in order too. <laughs> yes, well, there we go. Somebody, some grown up has to do that. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna fuel up here and then we are gonna head out. So we will catch you in a bit.
that big marker is called Wayne Rock. And that's where we do a lot of fishing. A lot of times in the year we just fish there. We have a Wednesday night fishing derby uh, starting beginning of June, going right through till the beginning of September. And it's mostly the annuals in the marina. We all go out from five till eight on Wednesday nights and then go for wings after, it's awesome. But we mostly just fish here. So there we are, we're gonna continue on. Just wanted you to see without the motor going full speed ahead. And this is Satellite Channel and we're gonna be stopping next. We'll show you the ferry terminal. There we have the Salt Spring Ferry. It's just coming out from behind Piers Island, which is right there. And Piers Island is uh, an island that has houses all around it, but there are no vehicles, so it's only accessible by water. And you can see all the uh, docks all the way around, because if you live there, you have to have a boat. Anyway, there's, uh, there's the ferry, and you can see way in the distance there terminal which we are going to come up to and I will just do a little flash as we go by here. Another note about this ferry is one of the new electric ferries. They were doing a lot of uh, testing last summer in our inlet in front of Mill Bay. They were driving them all around or no I guess you don't say driving them. Piloting. Piloting them around Mill Bay uh, in Mill Bay and the Saanich Inlet. But anyways it's kind of cool because they are going with the times and I think there is a few of these electric ones now not a lot of them yet and not the great big ones but this is the largest size so far but it is uh, it's pretty good at BC Ferries to get on board. So here we're gonna go between two islands this is Gouge Island and this one is Coal Island and there's lots of these little yeah, channels. Oh yeah, at Lewis Bay, right. There's Lewis Bay. So the thing with these little channels is there's so many of them, you have to watch tides because there's a ripping tide that goes through this one. And as you can see coming up here, there are markers uh, and you have to navigate through the markers and then you come out the other side. But I mean, you wanna do this rather than go around because it's just a whole collection of small islands. So we'll come up here and we will navigate through. I'm not sure if you can see the tide here, but it's not too bad right now, but sometimes it is just a ripping. So you gotta make sure you go to the left of that marker. There we're gonna be on the other side and then we will Head out, head to Morrisby Island. Also, we have Sydney straight ahead on the other side of that boat. I know it's probably a little loud. I keep telling my husband to slow down, but anyway, so there's Sydney. So he basically got around the point of the peninsula and come to the other side. And that's a great place to go. We love going to Sydney. We just put our boat in the marina for the day and we can walk around over lunch. It's so nice. And it looks like maybe we got a fish. Wouldn't that be nice to get a nice big salmon here? the net. Is it still on? Yeah. Oh yeah. Alrighty. I might just have to get the net. So hang on and I'll get right back. Whoa! We got a doozy one in here. Like I say, fishing is stressfully boring. This is the time we call stressful. <laughs> oh, we just have to measure it and make sure it's keeper. Is it a keeper? Nope. No? It's uh, a wild one. Oh, so it has to go back. 
So as it turns out, that was a wild, what was it, Richard? Wild a wild Chinook, and you're not allowed to keep those right now. So he has gone back. Um, a lot of times, I don't mind catch and release, release anyway. Do I. Yeah, so, uh, and because that's the first time we ever caught a fish trying to film it, wasn't a very good job, but we'll try to get another one uh, and film it a little bit uh, better so you can see the fish. I but that, was 68 centimeters. that one was 68 centimeters. So uh, if we get another one, we'll try again. Like, isn't that just the coolest little island? Just kind of sitting there. It's probably got all kinds of cool seabirds on it. I can hear them. Yeah, I love that island. of them around. I'm probably showing you the same ones. I just don't get tired of looking at them because I find it just so gorgeous. We are right at the end of Moresby Island. We haven't had any more luck yet with getting any uh, bites for fish, but right up in the top of that tree is an eagle and there's another one to the right of it. So I'm not sure if you can see that. See his white head up there? And we'll see if we can catch the other one here. I'm making my husband go pretty pretty close and pretty shallow but So you're not allowed to actually fish all the way along there. Or drive your boat. Or yeah, you can't even take your boat. That's right. You're not even allowed to go along the. It's called the Pender Bluffs. And you're not even allowed to take your boat there because of the whales. But on Pender is also uh, Port Browning, which is um, a sister marina to Mill Bay Marina, and another really fun place to go. They have glamping tents and. Nice marina, a pub, a pool, a restaurant. It's a great place to go. And here's a lunch fit for the royals. Anyways, we have our chairs. We have everything. And look at that. We're just going to sit here in the sun and enjoy. Wish you could join me. And here we are heading home and now we're going by BC Ferries Terminal again at Schwartz Bay and this time we have a couple of ferries in. I couldn't believe there was no ferries in when we went uh, out to Moresby but anyway there's uh, one of the older ferries, Queen of New Westminster and it looks like that electric one is still sitting in behind so anyway that's uh, the, middle, or the Schwartz Bay Ferry Terminal heading to Vancouver. Well, here we are back at the marina. That was a great day of fishing, beautiful sunshine. It was a little breezy on the way um, back just because we usually hightail it back here as quick as we can. But uh, anyways, it was a super fun day. 
So I hope that you enjoyed um, our little adventure out fishing. Even though we didn't catch the release of the fish, it was still uh, pretty good to catch a fish right now because they are a little few and far between. So hope you'll consider subscribing and hit the like button. Let me know what you think and we will catch you again soon. West Coast Grandma is signing out.